In the spotlight today, SD600Y Smart Digital Multimeter. Ooh, yummy. I'm telling you, Kiwis is really up their game as of late. Man, everything about them is just rock and roll. Uh, the color, the red and the black, I think is just very awesome. You know, I mean, what can I say? It's an awesome looking instrument. Uh, their clamps look amazing. Uh, they have really hit the nail on the head in terms of the aesthetics. And honestly, what I've seen thus far too, not just aesthetically, but uh, intrinsically, ergonomically, uh, functionality wise, they've really come a long way. Good stuff. SD600Y is another addition to their smart multimeter lineup. And before these meters, I gotta say, um, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that uh, smart and multimeter didn't really go so well together. But thus far, the smart meters I've seen from Kiwis are really pushing a new envelope. It's just looking very, very nice. And hopefully this one will be no exception. It's a 6,000 count, uh, true RMS, and man, this little thing is loaded. Kiwis has, without a doubt, I think the best cases I've ever seen uh, thus far. And I mean, I am comparing it with the big boys. Uh, some of these cases are incredibly good. Uh, look at this one, for, for instance. I mean, the Kiwis, ST, you've got that ST little label going on, but I mean, this is a really sweet case. I think you can tell just in the uh, the video here. I mean, this is very, very nice. Good zipper here, double zipped, nice carrying handle, and I mean, very nice quality. Open it up, and once again, we have that nice little mesh carry-all, and of course, that elasticized band to keep the multimeter in uh, tack. But I mean, just generally speaking, wow, what a gorgeous case to ship with a multimeter. In the case, you get uh, your standard Kiwitz test leads. Um, they look interesting. We'll test them out, obviously, see how they fare up. And you get that temperature probe again because the ST600Y also does temperature. Excelente! And you get four AAA batteries because, yes, this little meter likes its batteries. It takes four AAAs to power this. Boot once again, look at that. Gorgeous! Oh, yes, we have the little cutout for the flashlight. PVC plastic boot, easy breezy to remove. Um, very, very sweet. Uh, I love it when the multimeter comes with the boot because a lot of the smart meters today I've seen are not shipping with boots. And, um, you know, generally speaking, makes a lot of sense, right? Take that boot off and look at that. No tilt stand. Oh, oh Kiwi's. Oh, 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 yes, we need tilt stands on these smart multimeters. All right, they can still be sexy, but with a tilt stand, okay? Work on it, please. Thank you. Um, one 10 amp fuse, 250 volt, according to the uh, back here. And what else do we have there? IEC 61010-1. So they are conforming to some sort of standard. Now we only have that CE um, label here. So uh, once again, take that one with a grain of salt. We don't have any real third party certification, none thing from Intertech, uh, what have you. So anyway. It's a cheapo. This meter costs about 35 bucks Canadian, uh, around $30 US. Um, is it bargain basement? Is it just, you know, let's find out. Something like a broken record, but like, subscribe, and comment. And then you're automatically entered to win another multimeter or a clamp. Oh, look at this gorgeous clamp. I mean, it's beautiful. Ah, uh, yes, that's all you have to do. The more comments you leave, you know, three different videos, three different comments. Hey, the more chances you have to win, right? It's just math. Ugh, I hate math. DC precision voltage, 10.03 volts. Looking good. On the box, it's really going after that ST uh, Smatek. And I don't know, but in Quebec, Canada, ST has a slightly different meaning. <laughs> Okay, next. And once again, that manual is pretty decent. Uh, multiple languages in one manual, but uh, all the basics you need are here. Some pretty nice diagrams and all around, much better than those crappy pullouts you get in a lot of the cheapos. Good job. Okay, let's turn the meter on, shall we? Hold down on that red power button. Bada boom, bada bing. Oh yeah, check it out. 
we have that gorgeous colored EBTN display once again. And by default, you can see we are in auto mode. That's why that little needle is going back and forth because auto mode in this case is volts, AC, DC, resistance and continuity. Those are the three automatic modes. And the part I really like is you hit that function button and it's like a selector switch. It's a digital selector switch back and forth forth and back back and forth you get the idea look at that watch the needle cycles through all of those different ranges oh yeah so a smart meter once again with full manual i love it i love it kai wheats i don't know what to say thank you oh my god i'm having a kai wheats attack you can see the difference in size between the bigger KM601, uh, definitely smaller, but uh, something that's interesting, actually the screen clarity is better ever so slightly on the 600Y. So um, as far as I know, the exact same displays, but for whatever reason, uh, it is truly just a little bit brighter, a little bit more contrasty on the smaller 600. Doing a little DC voltage showdown here between the two smart meters, KM601 and the ST600Y. We're starting from 32 volts. We're going to work our way down. Here we go. Sitting at 20.60 volts, 20.61 and 20.50. Oh, that's quite the discrepancy. Take it down a little bit further. Let's do 18.96 volts according to the Kaiwitz power supply, 18.98 for the 600Y, and 18.88 for the 601. Down, down, down we go. 17.32, 17.33 for the 600, 17.24 for the 601. Wow, quite a discrepancy, a little surprised. Let's take it down further, down to a whopping 8.61 volts, 8.62 for the smaller 600Y, 8.594 for the KM601, and... Let us go right down to 1.05-ish. It's fluttering. Say 1.05 volts. 1.065. Oh, wow. It's so close here. 1.06 for the 600. 1.056 for the 601. So there you have it. I'm going to give this one to the 600. Why? Definitely it was more accurate. Um, interesting. I would thought they were going to be pretty well neck and neck. But, uh, well, there you go. Can take a quick look at current now. Um, by the way, the 600Y has only one current input, and that is the far left over here where it says A for amperage. There we go. And we are in, and look at that right away. It is reading, is it reading? Three, two, oh my God. It automatically connected to the current, as you can see. Very cool. We are in smart mode. And yeah, check it out. So 2.65 volts for the 600 Y. Okay, let's take it higher. Whoa, right up to 10 amps. Bada boom, 10.30 amps. Coming up as 10.28 on the 600 Y. And look at that nice high current alarm. Oh yes. Do we have a visual as well? No, no visual other than that high current alarm, but that's okay, that's a good thing. Now let's bring it down, bring it down gently. Gently. Hey, kids, don't try this at home. And there we are. So 7.68, 7.69, and look at that, 7.68. So i got to say the little 600Y here is quite accurate, quite accurate in both voltage and current. Hmm. I, I'm impressed. Very impressed. Okay. And 2.0 amps coming up 2.03 coming up as 2.03 whoo good stuff we're going to take a look at low current right now sitting at 20 milliamps and wow spot on again for the 600 okay let us bring it down down i said jim 18.9 coming up as no coming up as 18.9 a little it took a little longer but that's fine here we go let's take it down to let's just say 15 even Steven milliamps. And there we are, 15 even Steven millis. And coming up is 15.1. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay, we're gonna go down to 10 milliamps now. 10 milliamps. La -da 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 -dee. There we are, 10.00. And look at that, 10.0. Beautiful. Oh, 5 milliamps, spot on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 4.9, 5.0. Gonna go down one milliamp now. One measly milli. 
And how do we do? What are we at? Oh yeah, it just takes a little longer, but look at that. Pretty close, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 1.0. 0. I saw that one, I'm gonna give it to you. Hey, this is one accurate little multimeter. Great stuff. Alrighty, Aphrodite, here we go. Continuity in the house. Default stock test leads. We have that nice visual indicator at the top, as you can see. But it is slow, it is slow. Latched, loud, but slow. Mm. And it is in manual mode. Let's try the Pro Masters. Pro Masters. Oh, it's definitely quicker. Still a tad slow though, but it is definitely a little bit quicker. Check it out, 74.2 decibels, maximum output in continuity. That's loud, folks, louder than me. Sitting in dial mode, now we're gonna have that nice audible beep. Oh, no, we don't, but we do get a forward voltage drop. Okay, well, better than nothing. Over to the red LED, looking good. The yellow, green, blue, and white. Five for five for illumination and forward voltage drop indication. Good stuff. And look at that, four volts output voltage in diode mode, excellente. And by the way, that Kiwi's H212B, what a difference in display, oh my goodness. Wow. Display has been so amazing that I didn't even realize I got the darn screen protector on. For real, oh my God. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Once again, attention to detail on this meter is exquisite. I gotta say, um, very, very oh, sweet. It just looks amazing. Uh, nice soft touch buttons there as well. And uh, look at that power button. I mean, it stands out. Even though, yes, it's a busy looking meter, right away you know where that power switch is. Awesome, nice color coding on the inputs as well. And don't forget those inputs are, they do have that visual alert. Look at that, amazing. So. Oh, this meter is definitely sweet. Oh, and we do have a flashlight. There we go. Beauty. Get into NCV. Click that function switch. And there we are, NCV. Here we go. Oh yeah, three bars. No problemo. And we have the visual as well as that audible alert. Excellent. Now I'm trying it on that light switch as well. A lot of meters have a problem with this. We're only getting one, one bar though, but at least it's giving us something. Right, here we go. Infamous means, and yeah, yeah. Like, no worries here, what's... Here we are on mains voltage now, 121.2 volts, true RMS. And look at that with that nice big dual display, 59 Hertz, 60 Hertz for the frequency, excellent. And for temperature, yes, we can use that thermocouple if you want, but you don't have to because you have a nice uh, onboard sensor. Look at that, no thermocouple required. Ambient temperature, 69 Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius, almost perfect, <laughs> almost just like the 600 Y. Alrighty, it's teardown time. Here we are, reverse side, and yes, new shielding. Starting off with those input jacks, they have the split variety. One of the jacks has two metal inputs as well. I believe that one is for the current. Yes, it is. Instead of a current shunt, we have that current sensing resistor over there. Uh, we have our one small five by 20 fuse here on the current side as well. That is a 10 amp. And at the top of the board here, we have one PTC on the voltage side. Moving up, there is our relay. Um, you know, they're not as noisy as they used to be, but still you can definitely hear when those uh, ranges are switching. That is that relay. Same LCD driver as the 601, that is the uh, 1729. Being icy is cobbed. There's our flashlight. And overall, pretty clean looking. Uh, smaller PCB than the 601, obviously smaller multimeter. But generally speaking, looks very nice, clean, and uh, hey, no complaints. Oddly enough, on that uh, PCB, it has the HT126A version 1.3 as the model of the PCB. Obviously, that is. Closing thoughts on the Kaiweets ST600Y. Oh, yes. Buy this one.
I really like this little multimeter. Man, oh man, I I'm really finding it hard to find anything to say negative about it. It comes with an oh so cool looking case that will really protect this little guy no matter what bumps or knocks it's gonna experience. Very nice plastics, extremely well built, and oh my god, that gorgeous EBTN color display. Oh, my mouth waters just thinking about it. And one of the best features, a fully automatic multimeter with full manual override. Yes, Kaiweets, thank you. Somebody was listening. A few gripes that I have, well, let's face it, it's got some poor fuse access. If you blow that 10 amp, you're gonna have to change it, which means taking out four Phillips screws, and that can do wear and tear over time. No tilt stand, once again, why oh why don't they put tilt stands on these smartphone style multimeters? You can do it, so please just do it. And let's face it, the social continuity, eh, neither here nor there, at least it wasn't that bad. No, overall, this is one awesome True Hermes 6000 count smart multimeter that I can highly recommend. The Kaiweets ST600Y gets a solid four out of five stars. Yes, this, this is one smart multimeter that's gonna make you happy. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.